How did I only get 900 points for a win? I normally you get NHL, you normally get like over a thousand. I just want to. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, please tell me someone bought this card. Seriously? No one. This is dumb, dude. Now I just have to put them back into my... ...collection. God. Yeah. If this guy doesn't do anything for my team, he's gonna get sold. Billions, not how we can't control it. Explosions in the sky. Moving fast, and slow, rising. Your soul to be alive. Yeah. Someone already made a remix of that, and it's kind of fair and funny. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Steering wheel. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Come on. Give it to me. Steering wheel. <laughs> kind of like, kind of looks like me when we're under like a caution or a safety car. It's like, oh my god, man, please just fucking race now. <laughs> Can I just buy that Jack of Zillowberg card? Steering wheel, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's declining. If he doesn't want to race this year, he's done. Yeah. I know, but still, if he doesn't want to race in that car, he's not gonna. If only he could have a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what they would give it to him? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't like to comment on it because they're my favorite team, so. I like them in Red Bull. Hmm, I think I might have the difficulty too low. F1. No, expert. McLaren. I just, I just have the pole and practice one. Then again, when I have it high, a track that I'm not, like, good at, like, gosh, like, not Australia, I'm, like, last. <laughs> Sahara. That's why I just call it Force India. <laughs> Even though, yeah, I know well, it's Sahara. Well, apparently they're talking about renaming it to Force One. Because the India, because the India in it isn't doing much. Like they they aimed it at getting sponsors from India, but it's not doing anything. So 
Well, they're from the owners from India. Where are you gonna run to? Yeah. I don't know, I'd have to watch it again. Steering wheel! I put that uh, steering wheel remix in the group chats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I put this uh, picture. I took a picture of my television screen because I was watching YouTube on my PS4. But this is the this is the dumbest story I've heard in my life, and it's actually really sad too. So it's like I don't know what the site is, but it's basically some person who like some anonymous person saying, and people are saying it's actually fake, which I kind of hope it is. The story I have to find it on my uh thing here. Story went, uh. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. I put it to. I put it in Messenger, but I put it in, like, a different group chat. Today, my friend took my cat who has a tumor to be put down when I wasn't home because I couldn't bear to take him myself. I have two cats, and he took the wrong one. No. It's, it's not. No. It's not good. <laughs> Okie dokie, we'd like to get a tire wear program done on at least one compound during these sessions. We can get some good strategy and development information, so it's worth the effort. Jeff really just say okie dokie. Boy. <laughs> so I just kind of rage quit my tire, like, uh, tire preservation program or whatever it's called. Even in Australia, I can't do it because I'm on a pad, so. I just restarted my career mode because I got, you know, booted out in the first one I tried. I also made a mistake and I'm no longer the 18 anymore now, apparently. I hope no one has the 48. That's the one I went with. Yeah, I'm down to, I'm down to do some career mode right now. Low chance of rain now. If the situation changes, we'll let you know. Hold on.
I, that's what I have was happens when people like address Raikkonen. I always start to assume they're about to say my name because Riker Raikkonen. <laughs> that's what I always say too when I'm like uh, when I'm playing in a Ferrari. I always say I'm Kimi Raikkonen. <laughs> Kimi Raikkonen. Raikkonen. I just put my Force India polo on because it was right here and that's like actually comfortable. So. No, I'm just gonna continue. I'm like on like the third round of Force India or whatever. Sahara, Force India. It's gonna suck when they have all pink clothes though, cause. Yeah. Back around, looking like Blossom over here. <laughs> I can get away with wearing a Force India polo that's black, but when it's. Fucking breast cancer oh, awareness no, reveal. The food. Not the food. <laughs> I'm not sure iconic is really the word I would use. This car's not iconic. Noticeable. <clears throat> oh, never mind. Never mind. It's just practice one. Hmm. No. No. They might win a, ra a race at some point. That's it. Yeah, that was because of what happened. They've gotten podiums, but that's it. The great day when the first India gets on the podium. Yeah. So it's a great day when the first India gets on the podium. It's fast, but I think they might have a good shot at Russia. I think they're always good at Russia. Russia already happened, never mind. <laughs> who even won, who won at Russia? Bodas. Because you have Mercedes and anyone can win. And could you could give you could probably give Fernando Alonso a Mercedes and he would win. could give Lance Stroll a Mercedes and he would win. <laughs> That's a valid yeah, statement. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say that one. Would not say that. <laughs> you want to come see Cars 3 with me? I actually already saw it. Is it a good movie to take someone on a date? I wouldn't know. I haven't dated anyone yet. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> we need to make a movie on Force India. Yes. Cars for Cindia. God, Cindy they sent four. us both out at the same time. Holy shit. I don't know. No. Boy, if you don't get. Whoa, what was Hulkenberg doing? Hulkenberg smash shit shit smash Stay up why isn't Perez my teammate?
I need to get gloves for my wheel because all the grips like falling off. When did Adrian's driving? Driving a go kart that weighs like 2,000 pounds with 800 horsepower through a little tiny city. Uh, I think the easier question is when weren't you driving doing dangerous driving? <laughs> No, oh, I'm staring at the back of uh, Raikkonen's and Helmet now. to meet you at last. My name's Chris, and I'll be working with you as your chief of vehicle development. It'll be my job to get your feedback as a driver, and to direct our upgrade design in the areas that you feel are most lacking. At each Grand Prix, we can run a series of practice programs and log the performance of the car as you drive it at its limit. This gives us data that we can utilize to develop various performance so me on the phone. Do, do, In order do, for me to know do, which upgrades do, do, to prioritize, do, 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 I'll need you to select a track acclimatization. Acclimatization. And you can do that in the R&D section of your laptop. <sighs> anyway, that's all for now. But I'll God, I'm doing this on the hards. I'll Kill me. Soon. Uh, I don't really have one. I mean, I like driving Australia, but... Probably Singapore. Ain't no point even doing this at this point. <laughs> An interesting practice session there, then. Let's remind ourselves of the. T Durs. Guess who made the gossip columns this morning? Everyone's talking about this new rival you have. Check his stats out. Hi, it's Emma. Your qualifying goals came up in the board meeting this morning. Here's what to expect. <laughs> yeah, I would think mm -hmm. so.
Yeah. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix <laughs> should be getting underway shortly. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. Well, tyre management is key here, specifically the rears. It's all too easy to overheat and wear the rear tyres as they're punished out of the low-speed corners. Most teams won't be able to avoid some kind of issue here, especially mm -hmm. the teams that are running less downforce. Are you sad? <laughs> I'm saying like that's not exactly what should be happening. <laughs> Look like at piss because Hamilton got a faster lap than me in qualifying. Uh, dumbass, he's in a Mercedes, you're in a McLaren. You just don't want to drink difficulty too much. <laughs> Sitting in the back of the pack is what ARC or I always do that. <laughs> ARC and ERO are four. I don't need to do it to make single player two. And so I didn't say URL because I'm not in the back there. <laughs> Even I know that was a lucky stroke. That was a stroke of luck. 
20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ain't got 20 bucks for winning, obviously. <laughs> shit corners corners are difficult apparently Actually, this might actually be about right, because in qualifying, I'm only in fifth right now. All the Ferraris and Mercedes are ahead of me. Oh, wait, did I read that right? No, it's a three, not a five. Okay, how is that? <laughs> how the hell did Jensen Button just get P6? This is nonsense. I mean, I guess that's probably part of it. Raikkonen and Ricardo haven't even done their laps yet. Have you now? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Got to go fast. <laughs> Apparently, uh, we caught Vettel lacking or something. So far, our fastest lap is a one twenty-eight point seven. Yeah, this is making a lot more logical sense now. <laughs> Was apparently number one in practice because well, no one gave enough of the shit to drive fast there. I had super softs on. <laughs> and they did the qualifying simulation thing. But when they're all driving super softs, see, yeah, I am not the fastest car in the field. That's kind of how it's supposed to work, smartass. <laughs> Ugh. 
Just go fast. <laughs> And the track, like, whatever thing, the learn the track one isn't bad, but tire management can kiss my ass. See, I couldn't even get five points in Australia. <laughs> I mean, we suppose you have a lollipop for turn one. Like, how many people were drunk when they designed that track? Like, come on. I'm also gonna laugh if I manage to out-qualify Vettel by an entire... Oh, that's not how numbers work. It's by two-tenths of a second. <laughs> and a McLaren. This is actually how I want it to be. Like, I don't want to be the fastest car on the grid, but, you know. I mean, Button's actually P9. Oh, I just dailed it hard. <laughs> Suddenly, Jacob. <laughs> the he helicopter got me like... dailing it. I got a snap of Overseer on the final turn of Australia. Like, the rear end stepped out, and I went to correct it, like, almost instantly, because I, I, like, went onto the grass almost. I came out of the turn, and I, like, tried to correct it, and then overcorrected it. it and dailed it into the wall. And I missed the tire barriers, too. I hit solid concrete. Get the fuck off my... Nah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what I'm saying is definitely important. You need to shut up and listen to me. <laughs> if you want to know specific information or make certain changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it manually from the radio screen that will appear on the multifunction display. While the radio is active, cycle oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> What door? <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Side of vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I was top of the leaderboards, <laughs> but they all ran soft because I was the only one to go out on the super softs. Oh no, Lewis Hamilton set a 29. I want uh, Ricardo with the pole. What the fuck happened there? <laughs> I caught Mercedes lacking apparently. All right, I'm gonna go hop in the chat really quick. And then I'll do P2.
Hey, Semmer here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. <laughs> What's the VSC? Virtual safety car? No. Viable strategy change. <laughs> I literally decided that too. If only you could turn those off. <laughs> you could turn safety cars off. You can't turn strategy changes off. Expectation and anticipation. And bearing the weight of that burden today is a place we know very well indeed. It's Albert Park. The story of the season begins here then with the Australian Grand Prix. And it's time for the first chapter to be written. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable. And recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. Except it is out of the question, announcer guy, because I turned them off. The box, as I will be throughout this season by a great racing driver, a former F1 competitor, safety cars, world champion once upon a time as well, and an all-round top <laughs> chap. It's the one and only Anthony Davidson. And no. Tell me, here we are, first Grand Prix of the season. Oh, that's Felipe Massa game? That's a random Brazilian lady. <laughs> oh, it's holding his sign. Never mind. It's holding them off because I have enough of a pain in the ass of them in, like, ARC. It's called the ARC again. Because I don't like driving behind other cars unless I'm going about to pass them. Formula One cars are full of very sophisticated but also very sensitive technology. So the most important thing today is to get to the end of the race, keep everything in good condition, and try to stay out of trouble while you're at it. Excellent job yesterday. We qualified above expectations. Let's go out there and put in a performance. Put in a performance. So before the off, <laughs> let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. It was a good showing from Red Bull in qualifying, and Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position, and Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid... Well, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Uh, that's right, I put it on uh, 25%, not 50. <laughs> what are we doing, people? I forgot AI brake late and Jesus, what is this? All right, let's not. Uh, I'd like my what was that flashback game? Oh my god, oh, fucking! <clears throat> Half the time I only remember these things are in the game. That's the funny part. Oh shit! <laughs> I cannot do this. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to be restarting lap one of race one, but I'd rather not be out of the fucking race. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna turn my PlayStation off for a little bit. I might come back on in like an hour when my friend gets on, but yeah. Alright, I'll talk to you all later. Alright, can can four cars not make a goddamn gate into turn three this time, please? <laughs>
Ugh, very itchy. Ugh. Well, that's not gonna work. Except it maybe will, if Bodus will just give me some space. Okay. Jesus Christ, Falcon Bird. Oh, and what was that? Nonsense. <laughs> Oh my, this is just fucking chaos. <laughs> do this shit more often, this is... Boat ass! Alright. Alright, oh, can I please get around you nincompoops? Christ! No, I can't, because I'm in a McLaren, not a Williams. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> McLaren Honda turned into a McLaren F1 in like two seconds there. Why is it so itchy? You ain't <laughs> It's flap two. <laughs> okay, copy that. <laughs> oh, you look at that remix. <laughs> Steering wheel. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do dangerous He says driving about 160 miles an hour. <laughs> Race officials have enabled DRS. DRS is Game, I, I know how DRS works. It's not... <laughs> not my first day at the rodeo. Well, I just, I just mentioned rodeos. I insulted the great Texas... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's impacting your F1 career mode. <gasps> Gasp! Oh, I see why he, uh, <laughs> okay, um, makes sense now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get lucky and Jensen Button will go in the pits behind me. Be that lucky. Teammate status. So the gap to our teammate is six point one seconds. They're on old super softs. The time last lap was a one minute thirty-three point one. The gap to the car ahead is four point three seconds. 
this. Now why are you... Is that my gap or bent buttons? I'm confused now, Jeff. <laughs> That doesn't answer my question. Pit in doesn't answer that question. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, right. Square doesn't change the view. This isn't Project Cars. Must have a very hideous helmet. <laughs> it's partly on purpose and... No, I don't even see any clouds. How would I see? How would we see rain if we don't even see clouds? Logic. Use it. <sighs> Should we make this right? I have pit exceptionally early. It's not schedule. That's no one says it like that, Jeff. I didn't think I put that early. But apparently I have. It's not how you take that corner. Yay, time trail period. I don't get enough of these in the URL and arc, do I? No, I definitely don't. They're still not pitting! <laughs> Driver in front. Say that again, we're having trouble receiving. Piss off. <laughs> Driver in front. Siri, can you work with me here? Think. To the car in front is four point five seconds. Alright. You could have just fucking <laughs> Doesn't pick it up in the radio and then says it anyway. And what are the odds of that? About bloody time. I'm tired of looking at the 22 in the corner.
Look, Palmer is in his highest position in the entirety of F117 or the 17 2017 F1 season. <laughs> you can only dream of being in 14th this year. And that's out of 20 cars, not even 22. Everyone lives in a yellow submarine. Caution, caution, yellow flags ahead. Hey, what? No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the greens. Ah, oh, great. We have to throw it in reverse to avoid a fucking penalty. That's just retarded. <laughs> I don't wonder what happened. Okay, gap ahead is zero point six seconds. Dude, you don't really have to tell me the gap of the car ahead when I'm staring right at it. <laughs> Just saying. Holy shit. <laughs> Around him yet? Okay, I am. Thank God. <laughs> I'm literally almost. Again? Speaking of pain, where are my tires at? Um, hmm. Another two. Oh, those are lapsed cars. I'm just stupid. Oh, that's a good seconds. job, Jeff. You cut yourself off. I have to pit in again, which is going to be annoying. Okay, car ahead is now running the super soft tire. That's the super soft on the car ahead.
has knocked his front wing. The damage is expected to affect his pace. Jensen, Jensen, what are you doing? <laughs> With any amount of luck, I'll be able to make it to the end. God, a wild Perez appeared, and I don't like it at all. No, it's not worth it. Doesn't even seem to matter. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Oh god, he has DRS. Ah, he broke too early, sucker! <laughs> It's not an ideal corner there. No one saw that corner at all. I did not cut the corner. You saw nothing.
bloody hell. You crazy? Look, he didn't damage me, jackass. You just so confident because you have a better engine than me. Piss off. <laughs> Not a moment too soon. Holy shit, luckily they get to 75 where they have a chance of really puncturing, so... We have two laps of fuel remaining. <laughs> run! Run, motherfucker, run! Motherfucker, run! <laughs> And I care about that why. Where is he even in the field? <laughs> is he in the group behind me? You know? Then I really don't care, Jeff. <laughs> gotta run, gotta run now, gotta run, gotta run now. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, let's defend this line. Therefore, you won't try to kill me. <laughs> Good job, you did really well. Super driving. A great win then for the Mercedes team today. Tell me, Alex, what was the key to this success? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. The hell happened to uh, uh Rosberg? <laughs> and now let's take a look at the driver standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the drivers' championship after an excellent result. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I think it has to be Felipe Nasa. You know, good on the tires, some nice passes. I can't really think of anyone who caught my oh, eye. Oh, you mean the one in 13? And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull moved to the top of the table. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Where did the uh, button end up? Hmm.
Well, that's had enough of that nonsense after that. Um <laughs> Frickin' Perez, I swear.